Oh, welcome into the lair. I'm going to go over some, um, some reverb, delays, pitch, chorus for you today. Uh, we're going to get a, a, a little basic and go a little more advanced, trying to please everybody, <coughs> excuse me, which I think we can. So uh, it turns out this, this uh, is probably going to take two weeks. So consider this episode one. We'll, we'll squeeze in as much as we can, and then we'll finish up next week talking about some pitch changes and some uh, unique delay techniques and stuff, along with some basic stuff. So part one, here we go. I'm using the same song I've been using for a while, Weirdo, uh, produced by my friend Brent Paschke and uh, Mr. Oliver and Mr. Carter. The artist is Mr. Midwest. Uh, you, you, you've, you've seen all that before. We'll show it to you again so you can go check the full length version out. Let's jump right into it. I'm going to go ahead and show you just a basic vocal. She bend it over, bring it back, and push it out. She does the weird. Okay, so let's add a reverb. We're going to add uh, the Bricasti. The reason I'm going to use the Bricasti is um, I want to show you a little bit about early reflections, and I am familiar with this one. Uh, 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 the uh, plug in reverbs, Altiverb, uh, Revolver, um, the Waves reverbs, they all, they all allow you to do the same thing, but. I think it's pretty dramatic with this one, so we're just going to use this for a second. So let's add a little bit of reverb. Um, she bend it over, bring it back, and push it out. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed about. And then it's she bend it over, bring it back, and push it out. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed about. I like the timing on that. And then it's she bend it um, over, bring it back. And it 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 feels it feels good. You can take. Uh, your, your, your quarter note, multiply that by four, you can try that. I'm, I'm basically using the quarter note plus an, I mean the whole note plus a, a, a quarter note more, and that seems to work. I can take the, the whole note, divide it in half, uh, and, or you can just trust your hearing, which is what I do most of the time, and then every once in a while I'll want something a little different, and I'll, I'll, I'll go to the math. But Basically, that sounds good to me. So let's start there. The weirdest things I've only now, for the sake of, of the example, I'm going to crank up the reverb a little more than I would like. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed about. Okay, so then come over here. Let's go over here. Let's get into edit mode. Now, this would be the same as same technique on, on, on a plug-in. Let's go to uh, early reflections. Okay, you notice I've got equal amounts of both. So now let's let's let's, let's bring let's bring the, uh, the the vocals a little bit a little bit towards the front. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed about. And then it's she bend it over, bring put, it back, and push it, back it out. Mix. She does the weirdest things I've put only dreamed put it back about. In the and then she bend it over, bring it back, and push it out. She does the weirdest things I've only only dreamed Can about. You guys hear that? She bend it over, bring okay. it back, and push it out. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed about. And then it's the other way to get it. Over, bring it back put him back in the room. Out. She does the, the early reflections down this time about. instead of the she reverb she down. Bend it over, bring it back and push it out. It's, it's she does the weirdest things I've only dreamed about. And then it's she now let's bring it to the front. Over, bring it back and push it out. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed about. And then it's she bend it over, okay. bring it back and push it out. Well, that's basically what the she early, early the reflections are doing. They're simulating the way that your ear would normally determine where the sound source is from. And then once the sound in that room reverberates around the room, um, your ear can determine the size of the room. But location of a particular sound is, is best handled by certain delays and, and primarily early reflections. So let's try a little shorter reverb just to show you that it doesn't always have to be the long one if we want to go a little shorter. She bend it over, bring it back and push it out. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed about. And then it's she bend it over, bring it back and push it out. She does the let's weirdest try, things uh, I've only dreamed let's try about. 1. 7. And then it's she bend it over, bring it back and push it a, out. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed real, about. Real and it's she bend it over, bring it back and push it out. She does the weirdest Crank things I've only bit. dreamed about. And then it's she bend it over, bring it back and push it out. She okay. does the weirdest So basically we've got uh, a little bit of a longer reverb, short reverb. We can control the early reflections for different sorts of things. Now I'm going to show you what pre-delay does. What I like to do on the pre-delay 
as I actually do the math on pre-delay, I think our quarter note is 435 milliseconds. So uh, I wrote this down ahead of time. The, the eighth note would be 217, sixteenth note would be 108. Let's start with the sixteenth note. Come over here to pre-delay. Okay, let's go to 108. All right, this is my pre-delay. She bend it over, bring it back, and push it out. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed about. And then it's she bend now, it over, bring. I would use that. I I, I tend to use shorter pre-delays just just to uh, keep it the, the sewer pipe effect a little bit down. Uh, as you get longer, you're actually able to tuck the start of the reverb behind a beat. So let's let's try an eighth note. The eighth note in this case would be 217. Two twenty is fine. She bend it over, bring it back, and push it out. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed about. And then it's she bend it over, bring it back, and push it out. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed about. And then it's she. Let's try a longer pre-delay. Now, if you listen to some of the classic Mariah Carey records that uh, Mick Kozowski mixed back in the day, he's using a lot of longer pre-delays sometimes. And she bend it over, bring it back, and push it out. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed about. And then it's she bend. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty dramatic, actually, huh? We've gone over the the the, the, the three basic parts of the, of the reverb component, and just to reiterate. The selection that I use for my pre-delay time is it obviously tends to be what what feels best and 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 what sounds best. But shorter pre-delay times in the sixteenth note area tend to be better for up tempos for me. And then I find that ballads and things like that sometimes I can get get by with an eighth note, a quarter note. Don't be afraid to experiment with triplets. Don't be afraid to just trust your ear and get something weird. Um, if you listen to an old record I did called uh, Get the Party Started with Pink, a lot of those delays aren't actually real numbers. They're, they're just what, what felt good. I, I coined the term at the time, asymmetrical delays. Don't have a clue what that means. It just made me sound important. Uh, so just experiment, and that's the basic, basic uses of the pre-delay. Now, the early reflections has a similar effect. Um, if your vocal is, is sitting a little bit too far in the mix and, and the rest of your track is a little on the dry side, bring those early reflections up. And um, if you're more ballady and the track has a little more swimmy, a little more effects, then you might decrease the early reflections and make the singer sound like they're part of the song. What we got going here is we've got a basic um, reverb. This is your um, stock digi reverb. Notice that on one side I'm using a, a an eighth note, other side I'm using a quarter note. And uh, sometimes I like to change the, the timing just a little bit so that they won't, they won't land on top of each other and gives you a little bit of a, a coursey flange thing. And I'm keeping the feedback a little on the low side because basically what I'm trying to do is just extend the reverb and add a little reverb. Now, now what's critical here is the mix level. See, I'm using 57% here on the shorter note, a little less on the... Uh, Longer note. So let's see what that sounds like. She bend it over, bring it back, and push it out. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed about. And then it's she now watch bend it I, over, watch bring when I it back, and tape. push it out. See so, so that decay about the right time. Now let me play, let me play it for you without. This she is just bend it over, bring it back, and push it out. She does so the weirdest the things I've only dreamed about. And then it's she bend it over, bring it back, and push it out. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed this about. And then it's she bend it over, bring it back, and push it out. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed about. And then it's Let's she bend it, it over, bring it back, and push it out. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed about. And then it's okay, so. There's so many options you can have, so many different combinations and parameters. You can take the dry sound and you can add more of the delay if you want. You can use more of the reverb if you want. Just, just
just experiment and find things that work for you. This is kind of a basic starting template that I use.